Well, this is Life of a Line. It's a very small layout, just 30 by 50 centimeters. I built it to try out a few new techniques in track building and scenery. It tells the progress a roadway might make from its beginnings to its end to preservation. And these are shown as separate scenes in the layout. The first scene is the beginnings. The line was a horse-drawn tram road. I experimented with the trees here using the flowers from a smoke plant for the armatures and for the leaves I used duckweed. The track is shown in the way that was common in early railways. The ballast covers all the sleepers and chairs right up to rail level. Since it's such a small layout, I also looked at making the baseboard light. It's made of foam board and cardboard in layers and is pretty strong. On we go to the next section looking at end, decay and closure. This shows the railway up on the mountain moors at autumn time. The track is made on stone chairs, fabricated from clay and then painted. Most of the ballast has been washed away in this landscape. The bridge has collapsed and the railway is gradually being taken over by nature. Autumn is a tricky time to model trees, only partly covered in leaves. This time I've used silver birch catkins. Now most of the silver birch catkins are too large for 009 scale, but if you look out dwarf varieties or go up to Scotland where the trees are much smaller, you can find catkins of a suitable size. The final section of the line is preservation, if any railway line is lucky enough to be preserved after closure. On the way we pass Destiny Junction, where the train either falls into the pit of oblivion or moves on into preservation. Here the scene is buzzing with visitors. The old mine has been converted into a tourist attraction, although maybe the toilet facilities could be improved. So that is Life of a Line. Thank you for visiting. Please come again soon.